What's up guys? We're about to hop into my video for the day, but I wanted to tell you stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a tip so that reselling can be a no risk way to start a business. There is no risk if you do it the way that I am telling you to do it. So stick around for the tip. Love you guys. Let's jump into the video. What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video um, to share with you some of my finds for the week. And I've been changing it up a little bit, trying to diversify um, what I have my hands in. You guys know me for shoes because I sell a lot of shoes every month and I focus specifically on used shoes from um, thrift shops like Goodwill, Salvation Army, places like that. But I've also been diversifying into new stuff because it is third or fourth quarter now. So people are going to be starting to buy stuff for Christmas and all that. And I'll sell some used shoes, but I want to get into the market for Christmas. So I've been going to Ross, Marshalls, places like that, TJ Maxx, um, Burlington, where you can find um, new with tags items and you can get them for a cheaper price, flip them online and the profit margins aren't as big as say the used shoes that I work with because I get shoes for around a dollar a pair and you end up paying up a little bit for this um, but it's going to be good time for um, time of the season for these things so I want to go over some of the stuff I got and kind of show you what I look for whenever I do this I am a sports person so I look for sports stuff um, just because I know that market better. I see a lot of stuff that's got a really high retail price, but I don't really know much about it. And in my my experience, if it has a sports logo on it, it sells a lot quicker. So I wanna go ahead and go through what I look for. Um, the number one thing I look for is Nike. Nike is one of my favorite brands. Again, I'm going off of my personal preferences. But you know what they, I mean, you've seen the movie Joe Dirt. Snakes and sparklers are all he likes and he doesn't make any sales. But in this, the Nike is not snakes and sparklers. Nike is a top brand with a good following. So I want to go ahead and take a look at this. The first thing I picked up was this. It's a Celtics Nike NBA collaboration. And I paid 12 bucks for this, $12.99 for it, and it retails at $75. And one thing that I typically do or expect whenever I'm doing this, um, I expect to sell it for um, around 20% less than what the actual ticket price is on it. So you have to take that into consideration, and I take that into consideration whenever I purchase these items. Because I don't want to purchase them and then sell them for just a little bit and then end up not making any money after you calculate fees and shipping and all that. So first thing I picked up was that Celtics and I, I paid $12.99 for it. Not a bad price. Um, plenty of room for profit. So this one I picked up, this Oklahoma City Thunder Nike NBA collaboration. It's got the big OKC on the back. Um, I picked this one up for like $35, and there were more of these, but I didn't know for sure how well they would sell. It's got a ticket price of $150, bucks. Um, so I should be able to make money, but it was one of those things that I didn't want to put pin up a lot of money paying $34 for something. Um, doesn't seem like much now, but whenever you're buying a bunch of stuff, um, it will add up. So I was just kind of testing the waters here to see what, um, what I'll actually get from it. The next one is a, so it's retail is a hundred bucks. Retail's a hundred bucks. It's an Iowa State Nike windbreaker jacket. So football season's going, so people are going to be looking for these and um, in this same group of stuff, I bought a, um, it was a USA women's soccer Olympic windbreaker similar to that, except it's red, white, and blue, had stars down it and everything, and I don't have it in here because I sold it. Within 24 hours, it was sold, and it was an immediate profit of about 60 bucks um, off of that. 
So I'm going to get all this stuff listed and, and sold. Next, I paid 19 bucks for 19.99 for this with a retail of 85 bucks. But this is a Nike with a collaboration of Yukon. And then it's also got the Con Nation on here. Um, it's a, I mean, a Nike, new with tags, quarter zip. Um, I mean, $85 retail. These next couple, um, they are, they are, we're kind of flyers. Um, I typically don't deal in Adidas. I'm not a big fan of Adidas. And Adidas on some jerseys, some soccer jerseys and stuff are good. Um, if you know what else Adidas is good at that sells good, let me know in the comments here because I'm always wanting to learn. But I don't expect these to sell too quick. So we've got the Adidas collaboration um, with Nebraska Cornhuskers. This one retails, so it retails at 75 bucks, and I paid $11.99 for it. So um, didn't cost me a ton, but it's one of those things that I got it to take the flyer on it, and I actually did it on another one. Um, this is a Adidas A M. Um $11.99 with a retail of $75. So we're going to see how it goes. But um, I want to share with you my tip of the day before we get into the big seller um, that I've already made sales on. The tip of the day is buy from Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington. Buy from these places and you can take these back within 30 days and get your money back. So listen, you can take flyers on this stuff and then if it doesn't sell within 30 days, you can go ahead and take it back and get your money back. But if it's after 30 days, they'll give you a gift card for it. So you can still get a gift card for whatever that um, place is that you bought it, um, whether it be Marshalls, Ross, whatever, um, and get your money back. So you can actually um, go buy stuff, sell what you don't sell, take it back. Just be sure to leave the tags on it and to save your receipt. And remember, you've got 30 days to get it back, to get your money back, and then you can buy some more stuff. So it's really a no-risk um, way to do it. Um, you don't have any risk as long as you return it within 30 days. So the last thing that I got, which is amazing, and I've already sold one, and I have messages on messages on messages about this product. So I'm about to show you. I live in Oklahoma, so I've been selling, the, selling this on Facebook Marketplace. But it's the OU Jordan collaboration. Um, it's got the, I think it's called a crew neck, no hood. Um, but super cool. So these were at Ross for $17.99 with a retail of $75. And I'm selling them for $50 bucks all day. So it's one of those things. Um, I ended up, I picked up a lot of them. I picked up like six or seven of them. And um, already sold a couple. But find the things that you like and that you know, check the comps and buy them if there's a profit. And if you don't end up selling them within 30 days and you don't want to hold on to them, you don't want to tie up that money, you can always take it back. So listen, that's a no risk way to start a reselling business. You just need a little bit of capital to start up. I mean, for instance, $17.99 for that OU jacket. I sold it within 24 hours for 50 bucks. So made 30 bucks. You could reinvest that into the business and keep reinvesting it. And if something doesn't sell within 30 days, you can go ahead and take it back. But that was your that was what I picked up this week, and that was your tip of the day. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.